News, even louder than Donald Trump. Now, the biggest reason is the length of this race. After Clinton lost in New Hampshire, her campaign urged supporters not to worry because the nomination wouldn't be won in February. It would be all but sealed in March. But as the calendar turns to April today, the race is hotter than ever. Hillary Clinton just can't shake Bernie Sanders. This is really personal for me. Their Democratic fight isn't winding down, but ramping up and expanding to new fronts. Secretary Clinton. Sanders and his supporters keeping alive their criticism of Clinton, receiving contributions from the oil and gas industry. This confrontation with the climate change activists going viral. The outburst offers a fresh window into a rising frustration with Sanders. The Clinton campaign accepts money from people who work for oil and gas companies, not the companies themselves. Sanders called it a distinction without a difference. If people receive money from lobbyists of the industry, I think you're receiving money from the industry. Hey. These are not just a little worker there. These are lobbyists who represent the oil and gas industry. But today in New York, Clinton struck back, saying Sanders isn't pro-business. I just go crazy. When I hear Senator Sanders and the Tea Party Republicans railing against the export import bank like it's some kind of evil, uh, you know, presence. The Democratic rivals are also tangling over abortion. Clinton accusing Sanders of not properly denouncing Donald Trump's assertion women who have abortions should be punished. Senator Sanders agreed that Donald Trump's comments were shameful, but then he said they were a distraction from, and I quote, a serious discussion the serious issues facing America. Sanders cried foul. What Secretary Clinton did is take things out of context. I am 100% pro-choice. The root of the tension is the length of the race. The Clinton campaign once assuming the contest would be all but over by now. As campaign manager Robbie Mook noted in this memo, writing, the nomination will very likely be won in March, not February. Sanders has an edge in Wisconsin and is fighting hard on Clinton's turf in New York. He drew 18,000 supporters last night to a rally in the Bronx. My father came to this country at the age of 17 from Poland without a nickel in his pocket. Sanders is well behind in the delegate race, but money is keeping him in the game. His campaign says it raised $44 million in March, fortifying it for the final two months of the long Democratic primary. Let's take this fight to the White House. Thank you all. But for Bernie Sanders to take this to the White House, he needs to keep winning and winning big. His first target is Wisconsin. He's camping out there all weekend long. A top Clinton advisor tells me they believe Wisconsin is basically out of reach. That's why they're focusing so much on New York. But judging by the sight of last night's crowd in the Bronx for Sanders and the populist streak alive in New York, the Clinton campaign is taking it very seriously. Jake, a loss there would upend this entire nominating fight if it should happen. Yeah, you can't lose your home.